What's up everybody? So today we got the Civic Kit back in the garage. I know it's been a while since we've actually done anything to it, but I figured today's the day we need to start working on it, doing some more stuff to it. And uh, I was looking at it the other day and realized that the paint is kind of faded on this. It doesn't really look the best. So I figured might as well clean it up, get it buffed and polished, make it look nice. As you guys can see here, it's already all masked off, at least the trim that is anyway. And uh, I don't know how well this camera will pick it up, but maybe you guys can see some of the light scratches and stuff and the haziness in the paint. I went ahead, I did the roof, just because that's a little bit tougher area to get to. I didn't really want to stand on the, on the ladder or anything to get that. But you guys can see, it's not too bad. It's much brighter, more vibrant finish. Definitely more smooth. Got rid of most of the little scuffs and scratches and imperfections in the paint. So I'm really happy about that. Um, I guess maybe you guys can compare it here between this pillar versus the roof. See it there? I don't know how well this picks it up, but I think it looks a lot better. You can also see back here on the trunk and stuff where like these light scuff it, scuffs and scratches are. I really wanna try to fix all that. Make it look like a little bit better than what it is. Get the paint looking brighter, more vibrant of a finish like I said. But uh, the other thing I also want to do is debadge this trunk. And as you guys can see here, got the Civic emblem, the whatever sticker, another Honda emblem, and then the LX badge, which I want all these to go. I know the Civic em or the Honda emblem here has like two holes or something that hold this emblem in, which not really worried about that. I got something coming for that, so stay tuned for that. I'm sure you guys can guess what it is. But um, I figured we'd go ahead and show you guys step by step everything that I kind of do for buffing and polishing this car as well as debadging it. I don't know if I'll show the entire car of me buffing and polishing it. Maybe just show a section here, like possibly just this deck lid here. And uh, we'll get that done and see how it turns out. But anyway, as far as like the products and stuff that I'm using, we have the 3M rubbing compound polish and then the Ultra machine polish, as well as the Makita buffer polisher. Got the different kind of pads and stuff, as you guys can see here. This is for like stage three two and one so I have all that set up here like I said I already did the roof the roof has been done all the way up to stage three and as you can see here it looks pretty good so we'll go ahead and start off debadge this trunk and uh, let's just see how this car comes out I hope it turns out awesome I really like to see this thing nice and shiny kind of look like the 240 even though the 240 is <laughs> very dusty right now it's been sitting here for a little while especially when I just got done sanding that um, rear trim piece on that Explorer so that'll need to get washed here shortly but otherwise let's get the Civic done and Hopefully it turns out great. All right, so the first thing for this trunk that I want to do is go ahead, like I said, debadge everything off of here. Um, I've got this like putty knife here. It's got the edges grinded down so they're nice and smooth. Not necessarily going to scuff up the paint too much. I know we're still going to buff and polish it, so it should take care of any of that. But this stuff here should just pry off as well as like the LX badge and stuff over there. So all I got to do is just slide this. And I think this, yeah, I mean the emblem's already basically falling off. So we should just be able to slide this back here, pry it just a little bit. And what I'm doing is just kind of pushing, but I'm pushing out. That way I'm not just going directly against the paint. And start from this end here and just wiggle it back and forth. Just like that. So there's a the Civic badge. I know we got this residue and stuff here, but I'll show you guys a way to get that off. Let's go ahead and get the rest of them off first. All right, so as far as getting this residue and stuff off, which this stuff's pretty, whatever, nasty and just dried on, uh, we've got the eraser wheel here. You can usually pick these up at like your local auto parts store. But uh, we'll just go ahead, take all this gunk and stuff off. This will work really good like on metal panels and stuff. I would not recommend doing it on like the plastic areas just because this thing will melt plastic. So we'll go ahead and start getting this off. All right, so you guys can see there that it came off pretty well. There's still like a little bit of an outline. When we buff and polish it, it should take all that off. But uh, I'm gonna also use some like Goo Gone and stuff to clean this up, some wax and grease remover, uh, degreaser, any of that kind of stuff, especially for taking that one off. Just like I said, I don't wanna damage the rear bumper. So we'll go ahead and uh, use like chemically treat that. I should have some Goo Gone around here. So we'll go ahead and get that off next. So 
So now you guys can see here, I managed to get the emblems all off. It's nice and clean, no more having that residue or stuff left behind. The Goo Gone does a pretty good job, but I ended up using some of the uh, rubbing compound. Rubbing compound seems to take it off a little bit better. I don't know if you guys can see it or if the camera will pick it up, but there's still a little bit of an edge here from where it said Civic. So we may have to take some, some higher grit sandpaper, like somewhere between 1500 or 3000, just work our way up from there, get it nice and smooth, that way there's no hard edges there. So may have to sand that up, but as far as like, what I used for that, it was just the stage one, three and rubbing compound, along with a rag, just put a little bit on the rag and then just rub at it back and forth for a while and eventually we'll take it all off. So it gets you that nice clean finish. Um, but yeah, like I said, now we'll go ahead, we will buff and polish the trunk, at least I'll show you guys that and I'll do the rest of the car, but I'll show you guys exactly what I do as far as buffing and polishing. And you guys can see here, the trunk's not perfect by any means. It's got, like I said, it's got slight lighter scratches in it and stuff along with a little bit of like deeper scratches, nothing too bad. It should take them out a little bit. You guys can see here, my fingernail catches on those. So those probably won't come out all the way. They'll be like lighter scratches, similar to like what's on the roof here. You guys can see right about there. There's a few just little tiny white scratches in there, which the ones on the roof look a lot like what's on the trunk here. So it may have a little bit of I don't know, scratches left behind. They'll be a lot lighter than what they are here. So I'll go and get you guys set up and uh, let's go and start buffing this. All right, so the first thing we do is take this Makita buffer, polisher, whatever you wanna call it, along with the stage one compound. And uh, I'll just put a few little dots and stuff on this pad here and then just spread it around. And we'll just do it in sections. So you probably go like a section from here to here, you know, this area here. And uh, just go up and down and back and forth here. And usually I like to finish so it goes this direction so it follows the lines of the car. Um, and we'll just work our way across the deck lid here. And I'll go from stage one to stage three and then show you guys the finished results of the deck lid here. And then once we're done with that, we'll go ahead and do the rest of the car. Oh yeah, and one quick note, never hold it just flat down. Always keep it up at like a slight angle. That way it's not just burning into the paint. You want to keep it always moving. I usually start off on like a lower speed, like right now I have it on one, and then we'll bump it up, get it going a little faster. But uh, just always keep it moving because you don't want to burn the paint. can see that's stage one so far of just half a deck lift. Hopefully you guys can see where it changes a little bit. Should the light just fall like this light here. You should be able to see it start getting a little bit more hazy. But that's just stage one just on half the trunk. So we'll go ahead, repeat the process on uh, this side of the trunk next. So it's got stage one over there and then do the same exact thing. So I'll have to switch out my pad to the stage two pad which is the gray one. And then when stage three comes in, we'll use the blue pad as, long, as well as the uh, stage three compound. So just same thing all the way through. So this is just stage one, next will be stage two and stage three. So pretty simple, pretty easy. Just gotta keep it moving. Don't wanna get too hot and have any burns or anything where it like burns through. And you gotta be really careful around your edges. So, so far I'm really like the way this turns out. Let's just uh, see how the finish is. All right, so here is stage two. As you guys can see, I got it all done. Um, we'll go ahead and do stage three next, but I think the clarity looks pretty good on just stage two, which you guys could stop at this point, but I just want to go for a little bit higher of finish. So we'll hit it with stage three next. Okay, so there is what stage three looks like now. You can see it's definitely a little bit higher of finish. It's got more of like a mirror-like reflection to it. I think it looks a lot better. Um, as far as like the scratches go that were in the trunk, you can still see them slightly. They're just not as noticeable, like those three that ran here. They are definitely still there, but they're a lot more hidden. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. You guys can see here just how much brighter the finish is. We go on the side of the car here, you can kind of see like the haziness, the dull to, dullness to it, whereas this is much more clear, a little bit richer of a red. 
Um, top half is done. I still need to do this lower section. So I was just joining you guys the top half here as, as just a demonstration. So um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna buff and polish the rest of the car. I'll bring you guys back once it's completely done. But, uh, oh, and in case any of you guys are wondering, I did, I washed and, and uh, not polished, I'm polishing it now, but I went ahead and washed the car before it came in here and I also um, clay barred it. So didn't want to have any contaminations in the paint. Don't want to put any more scratches into it that's already there. So like I said, I'll just bring you guys back once it's completely done and uh, give you guys a full walk around. Hopefully it turns out great. I can't wait to see how it looks. Just already seeing these two panels here, just the trunk and the roof done. I think it already looks great. I'm really excited to see how this hood looks. You can really see how like scratched and faded and stuff this is. So this should really pop. But uh, oh yeah, I took out the washer nozzles just to make things a little bit easier. But yeah, I can't wait to see how this paint looks. So uh, for me, it's gonna be a little while to get this whole car done, but for you guys, it'll be like a quick second. So see you guys here in a bit. Two thousand years later. All right, so it's been a couple days since I last talked to you guys. I managed to get the car completely done, all up to the stage three of the polishing compound, and I gotta say. This thing looks so good. It just came right back to life. I know this is only like a 17-year-old car, but it had a lot of little swirls in it, a lot of scratches, scuffs, all that kind of stuff. You guys have seen in just like the previous clips and everything, and uh, it's, it's super shiny now. I'll show you guys here in just a second, but my next step that I want to do though is I want to wax this car just to help seal it in because after you got it to this point, got it this clean, it needs that protective layer. So we'll wax it, and I'll bring you guys back after I'm done with that. We'll take it outside, give you guys like a full uh, detailed walk around and see everything. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. I'll show you guys right now what stage three looks like. And uh, you guys can see here, it looks, it looks sick. It's so clean. There's still like, what you guys can see in the trunk and everything where there's like some deeper scratches that are beyond the clear coat that don't quite come out, but they are definitely more hidden now. Same thing like the rock chips and stuff. Can't really do anything about that. But yeah, this thing looks, looks so good. Kind of see across the sides of the car here. Take you guys here to the back. Yeah, it looks sick. I got the taillights done too. I just hit them with a couple, like I, I, I got one up to like stage three on them too, just to kind of bring them back to life. Uh, didn't do here because the tail, or not the taillight, the license plate covers that up, so I'm not worried about that. But yeah, it looks, it looks pretty clean. It looks nice. So like I said, we'll go ahead, wax this thing, and then uh, I'll bring you guys back, take it outside, as long as the weather is still nice, because it's been kind of crappy the last couple days. It's been cloudy and stuff, which really isn't too big of a deal if it's just cloudy, but as long as it's not raining, I'll give you guys one last look at it. But uh, I'll go ahead and wax it now, and I'll see you guys here in just a second. <music> Well, as you can see here, we managed to get the Civic completely done. The wax coat really helped. I think it made it look kind of more shiny, gave it kind of a wetter finish. But just that even up to the stage three of the buffing job, buffing and polishing, really helped this car a lot, especially for this being like a 17 year old car. It really brought the paint back to life. So I'm super happy about that. I know I mentioned in the last clip that I wanted to take this thing outside, but unfortunately, as soon as I started waxing the car, it started raining. And uh, according to what the weather looks like, it's gonna end up just keep raining all week. So unless I get an opportunity to take this thing outside and do any filming or anything like that, I'll probably post it on my Instagram. So I'll make sure to link my Instagram in the description as well as in the video in here somewhere. So if you guys want to check out any photos, make sure to make sure to check out my Instagram so you can don't miss out. But uh, as for now, I'm just gonna leave the car in the garage. You can sit here until it quits raining just because I don't want to get the car dirty just because I did all this work to clean it up. And I've got plenty of other stuff to install, which 
if you guys have been watching the videos here for a while, you will have seen some stuff in the background that I have had for this car for a little while. But now it's back in here and I have time for it to set here. We'll go ahead and install all that stuff. So stay tuned for that. But otherwise, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.